Hello everyone, Tim Game here, and today I'm bringing you some more Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer footage. Now today I'm bringing you a very nice Mark 46 Sabotage gameplay on Baccara. Now, Sabotage. Sabotage is a game mode I really didn't play much of in Black Ops because it's, it tends to be slightly slower paced than the rest of the game. And as Black Ops was fairly slow paced anyway, playing in Sabotage could become fairly turgid on Black Ops. However, because Modern Warfare 3 is such a ridiculously fast paced game, if you want a, a slight change up, I really do recommend Sabotage. You know, but the spawn delay really does help to remove some of the absolute craziness from uh, the game because as we all know by now, uh, Infinity Ward in their Infinite Wisdom um, decided to implement a revenge spawn system. So whenever you kill someone, they will spawn you know, practically within a, uh, a throwing knife toss away from you. So you can spend a lot of the game spawning, killing the guy, dying to the same guy, spawning, killing the guy who killed you, dying to that guy again in a bit. So it can get a bit hectic and, you know, the spawn delay, even a very, very small one like it is in Sabotage, really does help calm it down, you know. The, the BS spawn deaths I've had in Sabotage so far, I can count on one hand and the BS spawn deaths I get in one game of Domination, for example, is up in six or seven, you know, you can get some complete and utter ridiculous, I mean, completely redonkulous deaths in Domination. When you kill a guy, you see him, his corpse on the floor, and then you see him respawn and just come and mow you, and there's just absolutely no hope. Anyway, that's enough on Sabotage. I really do recommend it if you, uh, you know, fancy a bit of a change up. A little bit on the Mark 46. Now, light machine guns are by far and away the worst weapon class in any Call of Duty game because they don't really have a, a speciality of their own. Obviously when you look at sniper rifles they have the infinite range and the one hit kill. When you look at assault rifles they're the jack of all trades. The SMGs are good mo good mobility, you know, with a little bit of range and shotguns are excellent mobility but with no range. And when you think of all of that together and then you think of the LMGs, there really isn't a place for the LMGs because you know, they're not quite as versatile as assault rifles because if you turn a corner and run slap bang into someone, they tend to have pretty slow ADS and pretty poor hit fire. So you will lose a lot of close range gunfights with these weapons. You know, typically they, they don't have a damage drop off. However, because their recoil tends to be so high, they don't tend to be very, very good at distance. You know, assault rifles like the M4 or the ACR tend to be better than them at distance. And, you know, obviously at that sort of mid range, slightly uh, sh slightly shorter than mid-range. The SMGs and the faster firing, higher damage assault rifles, for example, will be better. So the LMGs are, are left in a little bit of no man's land here because if you want a close-up weapon, you'll choose something else. If you want a long-range weapon, you'll choose something else. If you want a jack-of-all-trades, you'll choose something else. So you don't tend to see many people use light machine guns, especially in Modern Warfare 3 when the rest of the assault rifles and the SMGs are so powerful. However, if you haven't given the M46, MK46 a try, sorry, I really, really do recommend it. It is by far and away the best light machine gun, in my opinion, in the game. I mean, it's very, very powerful. The iron sights are particularly good, but it, as you can see from this uh, gameplay here, the red dot is very, very good as well. And it has quite nice recoil. I mean, it's not, it's, no, it's not an insignificant amount of recoil. It will recoil a lot, but I tend to aim for low center mass, so top of the gut, you know, just uh, middle of the torso sort of thing. That is where I tend to aim. And the recoil of this weapon recoils into the upper chest, neck and head pretty much perfectly every time. So I will get my sights onto a guy's midriff, pull the trigger, and the recoil will naturally drag it up into his neck. So for me, it really is an absolutely fantastic choice of weapon. And I, I've loved using it so far, you know, because it just offers a nice change up because it enables you to play a little bit more slowly, play a little bit more conservative, and it just enables you to just to get used to the game. Unfortunately, I got caught out by that guy there in mode, but it doesn't really matter because this is uh, you know, a fairly chilled out gameplay. And this is what I want to talk about now, a little bit more about the gameplay, because as you guys know, I have been completely and utterly snowed in uh, the last few weeks. However, I do have some fantastic news for you. I have literally, just about five minutes ago, got back from handing in my final essay of the year. So that means until, I'd say after Christmas now, I have no serious work to do. Obviously, I'm still going to have to do work for seminars and whatever, little projects, but there's no more coursework to do. You know, 
I'm thrilled because it will finally enable me to spend a little bit more time on Modern Warfare 3 because I still haven't got a day's gameplay on it yet. I mean, I'm still level 50 something now. I'm not too far away from unlocking the uh, the the battle rifle. The is it the MK14 Mark 14? Possibly the battle rifle. See. You can tell I haven't played much of it because I really can't remember all the weapon names and you know I still don't know my way around the maps but I am going to put that right this week. I'm going to get some pretty beastly gameplay and you know I've been left a little bit in the wake of some people with their Moabs and their also like the 50 kill TDM games but yeah I'm going to start to pick it up a bit now because you know I'm going to be pretty honest with you all the gameplay I've used so far has been from two gameplay sessions. The first one was the, uh, I think the very first gameplay session I've ever had on Modern Warfare 3, and this gameplay is from a session I had about a week ago, when it was me and I think three of the people in the party just chilling. And this is the gameplay I got, so you can tell I really haven't played it much. So hopefully, even if I just play a couple of hours every night, I'll be able to get the gameplay that'll really begin to push, you know, push forward and really begin to improve. So. Thank you so much for staying patient with me. You know, I know it means, uh, it, well, it means so much to me to, for you guys to just stick with me. You know, because I know you were, I know you appreciate that. I can't uh, put everything away to do YouTube all the time. You, you know, in real life has to come first, and university has to come first. You know, I want if you hand an essay in late at university, you know, this might not happen in school or college or wherever you go to, but in uh, university, if you hand it in a day late you get a 5% mark penalty and two days late to 10%, three days late to 15 and so on. And if you take, if you're more than five days late, you don't get any mark at all, you get a zero. So, you know, there's no, there's no thought about going, oh, forget this, I'll hand it in tomorrow. You know, you can't do that at all. You've really got to be on the ball. And the standard in uni is a lot higher as well. Just imagine you're in school now and imagine it's like your big end of year project. You spend you know weeks on it you do all the reading all the research you get it perfect you know that is pretty much every single piece of work you do at university because uh, especially in the second year now this is going to count towards my degree and I, I can't afford to you know to blow my degree on playing too much Call of Duty you know I've I've put a lot of time into the three of my essays I think the essay today I've put it uh, handed in was probably my worst but you know I'm still very very pleased with how my essays have gone so hopefully now I'll be able to chill out, reward myself for doing so well, and get some pretty quality Modern Warfare 3 gameplay out for you. Um, just another little thing while I remember about it. FIFA Ultimate Team. Um, I've been playing a lot of FIFA on my mate's Xbox. I, you know, I'm still in the mood for FIFA, but unfortunately there's something about the servers on PS3. I was disconnected for four consecutive games. I mean, I had nothing else on. I'd made sure I'd shut everything down. You know, the connection was fine, there was very little lag in the games, and then for some reason, at you know, for about eight, at about 80 minutes, it would just boot me out. So, fortunately, I have managed to complete the game. You know, the last time I went on, it didn't boot me off. So the future's looking good. I am still recording every game I have on Ultimate Team, and if it continues to improve, you never know. I might be able to bring an Ultimate Team series out. But you know, at the moment, I think my FIFA content is going to be pretty focused on the sort of quick tip. Excuse me, just had a burp there. <laughs> You know, it's going to be focused on the sort of quick, uh, quick tip, quickie, the penalty taking guide, like I uploaded a few days ago. You know, set piece tutorials, advanced play tutorials. You know, that sort of thing. Instead of the the ultimate team daily upload sort of thing that Sam Five Thousand or Chris Trout does. So, I am still committed to bringing you FIFA content, but it might be a little bit different to what you're expecting. And I apologise for that, but the simple. Th thing is I'm not going to spend you know weeks and weeks on ultimate team with a 0.5 win uh, DNF because there's no point you don't get any coins and you end up just grinding away and I don't want to do that because I really enjoyed uh, ultimate team last year and I don't want my experience to be tainted by EA's dodgy servers so hopefully they'll sort it out and if they do I'll be thrilled to bring you some ultimate team stuff but if not if the servers remain crappy I'll still bring you plenty of FIFA tutorials so there will be lots of FIFA content anyway the gameplay is slowly winding to a close now. I can't remember what the final score is. It's uh, it's it's solid. You know, it's not amazing, but it's a solid gameplay. You know, I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little bit of a catch-up commentary. I've explained away everything that I'm going to do this week. You know, I really want to thank you for staying patient with me during this period. I know that the gameplay hasn't been as amazing as I know I can get it, but. 
hopefully now the page is turned i'll have a lot more time to play call of duty and you'll really see that with my content so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and as always guys have a fantastic day